I look like a mess. That's fine. This isn't about me today. This is about Young Justice. Hey guys, welcome back to Friend of Me's. I'm Ian. I'm Jonathan Bullwinkle. Okay, there's another now. And we're here to kind of start Young Justice. I mean, I've already seen it. You've already seen it season three. Uh, this boy right here has uh, not seen anything. Uh, and is also uh, lacking most knowledge about comics, so this will be very fun. Um, this is essentially his introduction into the channel, introduction slash induction, so let the hazing begin. <laughs> Do what you will, commenters. You should make um, fun of my neck beard, punks. <laughs> I'll find you. Um, so, Jacob, how do yes. you feel? Uh, nervous. I'm an anime weeb. And I will claim myself as such. So, so. how much uh, Western animation have you seen? Western animation. Uh, I know you've I seen. Watched... I know you've seen uh, Avatar. No, I watched uh, Batman Beyond when I was a kid. Oh, so good choice. So. What about, did you see the anime, the original, the animated Batman the animated series? I don't think so. No. <laughs> see, <laughs> I liked Batman Beyond because I thought he looked cooler than regular oh. Batman. That was random. So. Weird. For some reason, the camera decided to stop working for a second, then kick back on. It does that at times. Don't worry about it. It doesn't happen uh, often. Well. <laughs> That's okay. Can you though. take the old? Oh no, I do it all the time. It's really annoying, but it's what must be done. But so that might be a possible thing in the future. You might have to watch that. <laughs> the original Batman. Oh, dude, it's so good. Kevin Conroy is the the Batman. He, I mean, you've heard him in the in the uh, Batman Beyond. He was old Bruce Wayne. Oh, Still, yeah, he's the yeah. same one. He carried over. Uh, anyway, sorry, Young Justice. Um, yeah, there's no, he. What do you know? Well, what do you think the show's about? Uh, the Justice League, but children. Like the Justice League members are children. Yes. Is that what you actually think? Yeah, like they're teenagers type thing, like Teen Titans, but actual superheroes. Whoa! Oh, 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 hold on now. Robin is an actual. All of them. I you're, sidekick. You're fired. Get out of here. Sidekick. No, no, they're no. Sidekick. They're sidekicks when they're working underneath the, the, the only, heroes. When the they make only, their own team, they're no longer sidekicks. The only two that I actually consider to be superheroes is Raven and Starfire. You, when was the last time you saw uh, Teen Titans? I stopped watching after they swapped the animation style. Oh, good. But still, <laughs> you need to rewatch it because you're an idiot. It's not my fault Robin got his ass kicked by an imaginary slave. Dude, that was a good episode, though. That was a fantastic episode. <laughs> it was a good episode. episode. <laughs> I broke right. my pen. It's been, <laughs> it's, it's been four minutes. That was that. You know, that's my pen, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that. Of course, they have to have the classic barbecue scene. Well, classic. Eh. <laughs> oh boy! I'm trying to get that. Enjoying family time. Oh. My family has other plans. That man. I was wondering when. The guy. An actual superhero. Ah, uh, yeah. We, we can talk about that later. Kids, always in such a rush. I'm not talking to you. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> it's me! He actually comes in. Yeah, dude. Are both these guys are made of ice? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know any of the old villains, I'll it's tell you good. that. It's all good. Green Arrow Green. and actual Robin. I'm wondering what a guy had to do to get a little attention <laughs> <in> here. <laughs> okay. Junior's doing this for attention? This does have a lot of the animation style that I remember from the team. <laughs> yeah. Definitely different, but yeah. Kid had a glass jaw. Hilarious. Here we go. Today's the day. Yeah, watch all of you doing that, by the way. <laughs> more ice. Right now, my king, I'm more focused on. Yes. 
Kid. Oh, please! You'll chat it up with the cops, with bystanders, with cold even. No. No way. Today is the day. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> boy, you're right. <gasps> Today is the day. Welcome to the Hall of Justice. Wait, headquarters yeah, yeah. of the Justice League. Oh, man! I knew we'd be the last ones here. <laughs> Bring back childhood dreams. Oh, dude, you don't even understand. <laughs> <laughs> I see Flash and Flash Jr. His name's name Speedy? Flash no, I'm Speedy's Green Arrow sidekick. Well, that makes no sense. Ready to see the inner sanctum? Born that way. I'm glad we're all here. Have all four sidekicks ever been in the same place at the same time? Don't call us sidekicks. Ah. <laughs> 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 We'll keep that term. You're overwhelmed. Freeze was underwhelmed. Why isn't anyone ever just whelmed? <laughs> oh. Maybe that's why. Martian Manhunter zero seven red tornado one six. That's it. Uh -oh. You promised us a real look inside, not a glorified backstage pass. Ah. It's a first step. It's gonna be a little this is the Anakin of this <laughs> oh, <really>? saga. <laughs> Who cares which side of the glass we're on? Roy. Today was supposed to be the day. Step one in becoming full-fledged members of the League. Well, sure. But I thought step one was a tour of the HQ. Except the hall isn't the League's real HQ. I bet they've never told you it's just a false front for tourists and a pit stop for catching Zeta Beam teleporter tubes to the real thing. An orbiting satellite. Called the Watchtower. <laughs> I know, I know, but I thought maybe we could make an exception. <laughs> <laughs> Gave away the secret hideout. Calls here, son. Stand down. Or... or what? You'll send me to my room, and I'm not your son. I'm not even his. I thought I was his partner. But not anymore. There's Palpatine beating him. <laughs> you know, I guess they're right about you three. You're not ready. Yeah. Foreshadowing. <laughs> that guy's gonna try and kill the Justice League. And fail. Stay put. Mess it, what? Okay? Why? Zatara. This is a League mission. You're not trained. Since when? I meant you're not trained to work as part of this team. There will be other missions when you're ready. But for now, stay put. <laughs> what is Project Cadmus? <laughs> Don't know. But I can find out. Wanna bet? Access denied. <laughs> Wanna bet? What's his name? Night Falcon? Nightwing. Well, how are you doing that? That's when he's the Hold on, hold on. He just hacked. Oh, well, you know, a really high tech computer. I'm just saying. They couldn't do that. Batman could. I need to borrow that. <laughs> That's cheap. Not on the back. Step aboard. Now. This has got to feel weird. <laughs> just standing on water. <laughs> Moving water. <laughs> yeah. There, go. <laughs> Welcome to Project Cadmus. He's a lot less serious to me in here than he was in Teen Titans. Yeah, that's true. Big Can't difference wait. in those. One of the many big differences. Hello. Oh. <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs> genome with me at all times their mind control their mind control okay i'm officially <laughs> oh, 
DC. <laughs> this is a lot more intense than I was yeah, yeah. led to believe. <laughs> they call them genomorphs. Whoa, look at the stats on these things. Super strength, telepathy, razor claws. These are living weapons. They're engineering an army. So is the entire Justice League under control by Wait, this point? Else. Project yeah. K on, on. Ah, the file's triple encrypted. I, I can't- Don't move! Oh. Wait, Robin? Aqualad? Kid Flash? At least he got your name right. You think the League's gonna approve of you breeding weapons? Weapons? What do you- What have I- uh, My head? Take him down hard! No mercy! <laughs> <laughs> You're dying. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Oh, no, no, no. this part of that. Oh, run! This is out of control. Perhaps... Perhaps we should contact the League. They can control people's minds. That's a problem. <laughs> this is like straight out of a sci fi horror movie. <laughs> like, so, what? Uh... <laughs> what? <laughs> You'll want to see this. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Weapon designation Superboy. A clone force grown in 16 weeks from DNA acquired from Superman. Stolen from Superman. No way the big guy knows about this. Solar suit allows him to absorb yellow sun radiation 24-7. And these creatures? Genomorph gnomes. Telepathic. Now we contact the League. No okay. signal. We're in too deep. Literally. Deep down. Contact the genomes inside KR. This is really going to have to be. You can't leave him like this. Set it free. <sighs> Do it. Problem? <sighs> Fighting evil Superman doesn't sound good. <laughs> oh, hang on, God. something on your side. Oh. <sighs> that speaks for healing. I don't want to do this. <laughs> Taser on him. Well, to be fair, it is also a super power taser. Enough! Oh, Jesus. Uh. Yeah, yeah. This guy's actually pretty strong. <laughs> ah, it's open now. Jesus, and they're all out. So we're boy. Just contact the justice. You're not. Signed. <laughs> this is the course. So, what do you think of the first episode? <laughs> That was honestly a lot more hectic and chaotic and intense and intense than I thought. <laughs> I was like, "Oh, this is gonna yes. be like a this is gonna be a kids' TV show. We'll be fine." 
That'll be cool. They're Just... gonna they're gonna stop they're gonna stop Joker or something. Like it'll be like they they're robbing a bank. Mm-hmm. They, they take a nice basic yeah. Yeah. So, you know, cops and robbers. No, but no. Instead, cops and space robbers <laughs> ending the planet. Well, <laughs> they're creating clones of the strongest Justice League. No, 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 no. You know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I wa- okay. First off, what were your thoughts on the first five minutes? Like when just like showing the the uh, psychics with their mentors. Coming in and fighting these uh, other, the, 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 these ice villains kept showing up. Oh, the, that was like more of what I was actually expecting. Mm-hmm. Like fighting, you know, they're villains and they're probably super strong, mm-hmm. but it's, they're still just vi- like regular villains. Right. Not world ending threats that are controlling the good guys. Now, you're, that's an interesting point you brought up. What do you mean by the controlling the good guys? Well, uh, Obviously, they're doing this near, like, the Justice Town Hall. Like, this is the same city, right? It's it's in the same city. Well, it's not near the Hall of Justice, though. It took it just it just cut to us getting. Oh, it, okay, okay. Yeah, no, no, no. It's not near. By. Um, I was like, and this thing is, is like right under their very noses, right? And they don't know what's going on. <laughs> but that's also just because, like, again, the as uh, they've discovered, it's. Um, they have like a, compl- a secret underground area underneath Cadmus, and the reason that they haven't been able to pick them up on any kind of uh, search or radar or anything is because they weren't of their own power grid. As they discovered with Kid Flash pointing out, they're basically powering their own area with their own creations. Oh, that's what those like. That's what uh, Kid Flash was talking about. Is they created their essentially their own power grid with those 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 different versions of the genomorphs. Yeah, I didn't think about like the in depth. Like meaning behind that of like them having their own power grid. There's no connections. Well, no, because he even said like that's why they're they're so under the radar is because they're on their own power source. He yeah. said that uh, whenever they discovered the uh, Doctor Pan, whenever they discovered them. Oh, well, let me just see if I can find that moment over here so I can get some better explained. Oh, I don't want to see here. But then, like, even one of the superheroes is like under control, and he recognizes them. He's also there though. To be controlled. I guess we've noticed every time that it's happened, it, they're these genomorphs. But didn't they, they have find... to be like near the the person? But didn't they find this this project or this secret area on a Justice League computer? No, no, no they found Cadmus itself. That's what I'm saying. That whenever Robin they they saw the elevator, he's like, and he was scanning this the the elevator. So I was like, this is a high end like uh, engineer whatever elevator. This shouldn't be part of the building. And then they opened it and they saw how far it went. It's yeah, like, yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> so they didn't know about this whole underground area. Right. This is new. But they were connected to the regular building prior. Like they knew about the building. Before. They knew about the original building. Yeah, yeah. But the, the Justice League on the computer on the the systems they didn't have this on their system on their they, they didn't know about it in the first place. That's why it was also a surprise to uh, the kids because they were like, why is this? What's going on here? Yeah. So this is like the again. So the Just League don't even know about this existence. That's why Batman was like, whenever there was a fire at Cadmus, he's like, I've been wanting, looking for an excuse to go investigate Cadmus. I've been feeling suspicious about them, and then they couldn't because something else is going on. That's like, in their in, in the scope that they at least realize that they can see immediately. There's something that's immediately more dangerous currently going on. So okay, that's why they didn't go check it out. I was like, crap, something's going on. Batman's like, I want to check it out. <laughs> a fire well, man can deal with it, I guess. Now they're going to have to check it out because if they get any kind of inkling that something's going on, because they didn't get the signal out. Well, the young Justice guys the, the are just going to be gone. <laughs> they're just going to be mean, gone. It could go, yeah. Oh no, I'm, I can totally see it happening. Like they're going to be like, oh, we're we're the kids, and that piece of crap that's there. The hero that's under their control will uh-huh. be like, oh yeah, no, I, I haven't seen him. I don't know where they're at. Yeah, and not only that, think about this. They created a clone of Superman. Oh, God. So, who's to say they couldn't do the same? With, like, Batman and them? No, 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 with the kids. Oh, true. Like, that'd be the worst, honestly. <laughs> they wouldn't even know. Yeah. Just... Hey, Sammy, chill out. No, <laughs> 
my yeah, god. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is this, this yeah, is man. Way yeah, man. Way more yeah. hectic than <laughs> so I good. Was, I love this, this. This reminds me of like the Teen Titans episode where it was like, oh, it's Raven's birthday, and you're oh, like, oh man, it's Ooh. not that big of a deal. And then you get into interdimensional demon. demons. <laughs> You will be the gateway to me taking over the universe. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, but oh yeah, what do you think of of the 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 team though? Like the, the kids that they show. They've shown obviously you know you know the most about Robin, I would assume. Yes. Um, I, I mean, his personality is a little different, but right, I know right, right. I just meant it. like in terms of his like his existence. Uh, you said you know Kid Flash. Uh, yeah. What? Who are the characters that you've seen thus far? Do you think, like of, of the of the Young Justice team? Do you know? Uh, I do not know. I do not know Green Arrow's sidekick. Sidekick, Speedy. the one that Roy, the 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 boy that that walked out, that I was calling Anakin. Yeah. Um, my suspicions are still there of him, but it could be one of those things where he comes back. And it's like I'll help you Here, guys. Here's the thing. It, what didn't help is that Green, <laughs> Oliver, the Green Arrow's name, Oliver. Okay. Um, decided, you know, they're he's cool. I can tell him things. <laughs> he's I can a cool tell guy. him. I can tell he's him a stuff. Cool guy. There's, there's a, there, you know, we have a secret base up in space, bro. <laughs> and now they, he's under mind control, so, so they have that information. Who's under mind control? Or they could potentially. Be he's not there. Oh, that's right. He wasn't there. Yeah, he left the group. <sighs> Funny thing, though. The same, the voice actor that plays Roy also plays uh, Guardian, the guy that is being controlled. <laughs> so he is. <laughs> In a meta speaking, yes. <laughs> um, no, but yeah, because what that kind of what added to that, it's it's Roy was being brought, you know, he was being hyped up. It was like, this is gonna be your first step into joining Justice League, becoming. Like in his eyes, a true hero, being mm. seen as the world as your own man. Yeah, yeah. And then he's like. Not in their shadow Here's anymore. this thing. Here's yeah. uh, here's the back the backstage area. You stay here while we go up to the top <laughs> to floor. To the actual. And place. he's like, uh, uh no, me? I wasn't told this is wrong. <laughs> I was given the wrong information here. Um, so that it, it doesn't necessarily excuse him, obviously, of his of his uh outburst of his attitude, but it kind of gives more of an uh insight i guess as to why he blew up so much oh yeah just, but i mean that was the same that, idea with like like i said with anakin in the star wars films like he was told that he was gonna be that he was the chosen one right and he was gonna be a master you were and, the chosen then, one. and then he gets there and they're like you're not a master yet you mm -hmm. can't do what you want or you can't help with these things yeah and that's when he went and saved. there's also the like hey if i you give it to the dark side you can save your wife I mean, Roy could do that. I don't know if he's married. Well, <laughs> he's also kind of a teenager going into young adult stage. That also adds to the fuel. You know, teenagers they, are. Yeah, they they didn't they didn't say how old these guys. He's are. about. Like 16, if 17? I can gather correctly, Roy is probably seventeen at this point. Same with Aqualad, probably. Um, Aqualad's super strong. Oh uh, yeah, Atlanteans. So the thing with Atlanteans is they have. Uh, much denser skin, and yeah, they also have a, sl a bit of heightened strength. Um, probably not to the extent of Superman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but they, but considering this is a clone that's been, let me just put this out there. Mm. Force grown in 16 weeks. Ah. As they stated, yeah. yeah. As Robin was laying out the like the stats, like a, a clone force grown in 16 weeks. So it's at that stage in 16 weeks. So that's it's not even full power. It's not full, yeah. So basically, that version of, of Superman fighting Aqualad, who was holding his own ish, up until a point. I was surprised that Young Flash actually stopped Kid Flash. Kid Flash. <laughs> Flash Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Kid Flash. Oh, that's so hard. I love it. I love it. So, poor Kid, poor Wally. Dude. Like whenever they were going to the hall as well, like. Hey, look, it's Speedy. No, that's Green Arrow Psychic. Well, that makes no sense. <laughs> that makes no sense. Uh, I love, like, kind of side banter, but what were you saying a second ago? Oh, uh, I, I actually... He's a lot stronger than I thought he was, that he actually stopped, like... The clone of Superman was about to punch the guy on the ground. Right. And he actually caught his arm. Like, 
in mid-punch. I think it was more so, like, because a lot of times you don't have as much leverage. I mean, I, I know he's super strong. He did But just... he also put, he used his whole body to hold that one arm. Well, yeah, but at the same note, he did immediately then he just, like, get flung yeah, across. Then he, like... Yeah, then he was just, like, <laughs> jaw checked. <laughs> so, yeah, the, the good thing about speedsters is they do have a heightened uh, healing factor. <laughs> so, because that, that jaw works, huh? Is that speedsters how works? normally they have a like their metabolism is is it ridiculous. So they oh, okay. so one they have to eat a lot, um, but uh, the benefits is that not the benefits of the eating because that's just that's more like just the side effect is that their metabolism burns so much that they have to consume an immense amount of food. Um, but yeah, they they heal much faster than normal people would. Well, at least it goes in depth into that because. If you think about it, that does make a lot of sense because uh, Michael yeah. Michael Phelps eats like eleven thousand calories a day Ooh. because he swims so much. Yeah, yeah, metabolism, so. man. Mine's not that fast. Mine's not fast anymore. So mine's yeah, pretty bad. <laughs> um, the only one that like was basically pushing their limits was uh, Robin, but considering what he was dealing with pushing for the amount of seconds, the, for the amount of but the amount of seconds, no, when he was going against uh, the clone. Oh, well, yeah. Cons- the amount of seconds, considering he lasted seconds at all. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta admit, it was applaudable. Because, <laughs> like, first off, he, he gets him off of, was it, I think he got him off, got him off of Aqualad, but, like, he's like don't, he puts, like, this gas in his face. And that he hit him, him with, a, hit him with, like, a poison canister. Yeah, there was, like, a, there was, like, a disc or, yeah, or a yeah. canister that he, like, put in his mouth. He literally, like, put it in his mouth. And yeah. Poof, like, oh, God, fuck. <laughs> um... And yeah, I mean, it didn't last. He didn't last very long, considering. But he also, to be fair, it lasted longer than Kid Flash. It's it's kind of the 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 uh, sad and cool part about like Batman yeah. and Robin <laughs> is the fact that they don't last super long against these super beings. But mm-hmm. at the same time, if they're, they're on their own, yeah, yeah, they're they're good enough fighters and they have a high enough intellect during a battle, like right. battle experience, mm-hmm. that they can make do with their surroundings in right. order to like. Yeah, the it's gap like, a see, bit. I'm not. This is what frustrates me about certain Batman fans. I'm not like most, like some. Ba- I won't say most. That's stretching. But I'm not like some Batman fans where like, oh, he could win any fight. I understand. <laughs> Look, I get. He does I, have I, a lot he, of money. He, no, no, no. He's, he's got he, the coin. He has like he has a like one of the most strategic minds out there. Yeah. And if given time to plan and to set things up, he could win mm, a lot of fights. Maybe like most Batman versus Superman. Yeah, 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 and that kind of like there, like he could legitimately, you know, beat Superman if given the time and uh, uh, the resources to figure it all out. If put on the spot, there are <laughs> fights that he cannot win. Yeah, because he he he'll admit it himself. I'm just a man. Yeah. So he'll he has his limits, um, but just seeing them pushing pushing their limits and even though even knowing that they're grossly overpowered by their opponents seeing them still go at it is the best this may be the dumbest question go on but uh uh-huh. because i'm bad at this okay isn't green lantern supposed to be a part of their group that it, that's not a dumb question it's understandable there's just there's just different iterations of, of, the of justice, justice league, league. yeah okay. because red tornado the when i originally uh, discovered the Justice League. Red Tornado wasn't a part of the Justice League that I like. I didn't know of him. He was one of the two guys that were in the yeah. hall already. Yeah, Martian Manhunter. I knew. Like you remember the Justice League cartoon? Did you ever watch that? No. Like, <laughs> well, there's a Justice League cartoon. Is that where you got the Green Lantern thing? No. Or is it because of the DC movies? Just just because of the movies. Ugh. <laughs> like I was just Mo- piecing it together of Not like I'm bad. pretty sure. No. Okay. So. There's 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 the Green Lantern in the, in this game okay, in the show the other the Justice League cartoon there's just uh, Green Lantern, Superman, Batman, Hawkgirl, um, uh, the Flash and mm. Martian Manhunter. Um, they so in this one they've only shown a couple of them a few of them yeah we saw Batman we saw Green Arrow, uh, we saw uh, Aquaman mm. who I don't think was in the original cartoon as well. Um, there was a uh, Red Tornado and uh, Martian Manhunter which. Uh, his name is actually uh, Jean Jones, or at least that's what he goes. He's like his human name. That's well, his human name is more like John. Are Jones. they are they aliens? Martian Manhunter is. He's a Martian. Not Red Tornado. Mm, no. <laughs> I, I guess. I mean, it's not, it's not like a super. <laughs> okay, it's not super big deal. 
I mean, you kind of can are supposed to kind of can tell, and it's a comics thing. I guess it's not a spoiler if I say it. He's an android. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes more sense because no. I was like, they look kind of similar, Martian Manhunter and or, and Red Tornado. I would say no, but that's okay. <laughs> they look nothing alike, but that's hold on. Let me let me find let me let me go back and go. Okay. So from Martian Manhunter, yes, he clearly looks like he's not from this planet. Right. And then Red Tornado gave me the vibe of the guy from uh, the Avengers. Uh, what's his name? The sight guy, the guy who has the Infinity Stone in his head. Oh, Vision. Vision. That's yeah. fair. Yeah, here's the funny thing is that Marvel and DC have a lot of similar characters, whether it be villains or heroes. Um, it's it, it sometimes it is copying, sometimes it's literally just they have similar ideas, they just go different approaches about it. Mm. Um, and there's a lot of argument of who stole from who. Sometimes it's it's both. They go both ways. Like some, they'll steal from one. Or the other. I mean, Roy gave me hard. Because I've seen some pictures, I think, of old Hawkeye, and it kind of gave me some... Old Hawkeye more has a, a mask that has, like, a fins on, on the front, kind of like thing. Like, out off to the side? Yeah. So old Hawkeye doesn't really look like Speedy does. But that's that's close, that's pretty close to, like, the old Roy uh, costume. It's very, uh, like, 60s kind of style. Mm. They're just kind of like the old... the. Uh, uh, Robin Hood esque yeah. feel to it, just because when it was first made. Um, is there a name for that hat, like the the Robin Hood hat? Besides uh, it being called Robin I Hood, I don't. Hat? There, there probably is. Because <laughs> I've known it as just Robin Hood hat since I was. I a couldn't kid. tell you, dude. Yeah. I mean, I my my knowledge is from comics, <laughs> so I have no idea. Um, but uh, let's see. Dang, I think we went a little longer than I even meant to go, and uh, but. We got a lot covered. We got a lot covered. I just think I just think one of the things that's not kind of funny that has not really much anything to do with the show. It's just that uh, whenever they went down to the where they found the clone, it was floor fifty two, which is a brand of the comics. Is a, a what was it? New fifty two is one of the like universes of the DC comics. So just oh, okay. they they tend to do a lot of they just like put in the number fifty two like channel fifty two. <laughs> so I was like, huh, that's funny. I get it. Um, I mean. But, well, yes. So I'll give my 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 final thoughts as to what I think could happen in the next episode. So I'm pretty sure um, Roy is most likely going to have to go save them. How? And how do you even know? Roy? Yeah, he left before they even mentioned a thing. I bet. I bet he was like going out to try and find his own thing, and he and saw like, them. <gasps> oh, or that? Or they and he like, like tracked them. They were saying like he he went out and he's like. I don't know what to do. So he's like, he's like, he's just, he's just like, like listening. He's like, they have to have some missions. I can, I can just steal some missions or something. Yeah, I'll probably just go grab a burger. Well, we'll see what the guys are. Doing. I think that camera is gonna have something to do with it. I, I think that is way too blatant of a thing to 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 place into like a scene where each of these guys, when there's not a threat, when nothing's going on, they have to get full body scan. Well, no, because. The reason they have to get full body scan is so they know someone's that you know who's going in. I'm telling you, yeah. it's gonna have something to do in the next episode. Roy's gonna come up to it and be like, "I need to get in to find out where everyone went or something," and he's not gonna be able to get in because of that camera. It's a thing. Let's just. Yeah, that's it for this week's episode of Young Justice, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to stick around for the next episode, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see any early access stuff that we have going up, which this should hopefully be going into that branch, go ahead and check out our Patreon. Uh, that'll be, they'll just, you know, a week ahead and all that stuff. Uh, yeah. Again, guys, thank you for watching. Hope to see you guys next week.